I've had death threats this week. Um, I was one of those MPs involved in the, in the latest uh, death threat that was issued to, yeah. to myself and my family. Um, and it does make you question, why, why are you doing this? Um, you know, and I've had problems over recess with um, people coming into my constituency office being quite aggressive. Um, and the police, you know, I've, every day nearly I'm contacting the police about a security issue. So, you know, in the past, um, we did. I used to take them with a pinch of salt, but since the tragedy of Joe Cox, you can't just no. ignore um, threats. And they seem to be on the increase and more and more um, violent and aggressive in nature. That's very disturbing, Mary. Does it make you wonder why you do the job then? It does, actually, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I just, you know... I just can't see how anyone, you know, if you're unhappy with your MP, if you're unhappy with the party running the country, then use democracy, you know, use the, an election and go out to vote. Um, but taking out your aggression on um, individual members of parliament, most of whom I know are very hardworking, you know, we've had recess now and I don't know any MP has actually been on holiday. We've all been working really hard in our constituencies. We work seven days a week. Um, and when people are unhappy about an issue, use the democratic process. Don't, you know, Use, use a, a, right. a kind of well, uh, a, a way to threaten MPs and their families. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear you're going through that, Maria. John Ashworth, what do you, what's your observation? I think a, a, a couple of things. I was one of the MPs who got this horrible death threat email on Friday night, and it was uh, somebody threatening to kill our killers and our families. I think it went to every MP with a surname A to C, uh, with, and it came with a horrible, disgusting graphic yeah. photo of. Um, you know, sort of a headless uh, uh, bottom. I mean, it was just horrible. Uh, and uh, I mean, it, you know, we, people in the workplace, and we are, we are, we are in our workplace, shouldn't have to put up with this sort of stuff. I think, I think female MPs get it a lot worse than men. And I think there is something about social media which appears to encourage quite disgusting, offensive. Uh, misogynist uh, uh, targeting of female MPs and we have to stamp it out.